Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Today we have an Hermes unboxing to do. So I uh, went into store a few weeks ago and picked up my Birkin 25, which is up here, which I love and adore. Um, and at the time of purchasing this, I also bought a few other items. So I am finally getting around to unboxing them for you guys. So if you missed the unboxing of this, I'll link it down below for you so you can go back and watch it after this video. But I have... One, two, three, seven. I have seven things to unbox for you um, today. Um, some smaller items ready to wear. So let's get into it. So the first two items come in these little boxes and if you uh, shop at Hermes regularly you know instantly what comes in these boxes. These boxes are very well known and some people love to keep their boxes. I don't keep my boxes. I recycle them all but if I had kept these which I kind of regret not doing now because I reckon I would have enough to have built like a little Christmas tree at Christmas out of them and stack them in such a way that it made a Christmas tree but anyway I digress. <laughs> so let's open these up. So these are Twillies, clearly, and it's in this, I think they call it, is it Space Odyssey? Does it have a name on it? Uh, Space Derby, sorry. It's Space Derby, and it's in this stunning pink color, which I love because pink is my favorite color, and we have all the robot horses and the carriages and it's just fun. The Space Derby collection at Hermes is actually quite extensive. They do quite a few silks in the Space Derby and it's one of my uh, favorite collections because it's fun. Hermes usually lends itself to being quite stuffy but they do a lot of fun um, motifs and um, art on their silks and yeah so obviously the other one is exactly the same because I always buy them in twos because if I want to put them on my Birkins then I need two one for each um, handle so I didn't think it they would go with my Birkin 25 in Berenia I thought that would be a bit too much um, and I also think it's a bit much for my Birkin 30 in Prembois I never quite pronounced that correctly, but what I thought they would be good on is my Birkin 35 in black. I thought that would go really beautifully. So yeah, they were the first two things I purchased. Um, I also purchased the two Twillies that are on the Birkin 25 on the day as well. So I do love Twillies. I have to admit, I only use them for my bags um, and nothing else, but they are beautiful um, and by Hermes the standards they're affordable and I know that lots of people do whole videos on different ways you can tie them and what you can put them on and how you can put them in your hair. That's not me but there's lots of information out there on that. So they're the first two items I got. The next one comes in this box and I'll open it up. And Hermes in Sydney are still using 2022 ribbon. We have not got 2023 ribbon yet. Considering it's May, you'd think it'd come soon. Um, okay, oh, let's open it up. And we have... Ah, yes. <laughs> this one's going to surprise a few people in the colourway that it's in. But I saw it and I just loved it. And I can't explain why. So if I open it up, it is clearly a scarf. And yes, there's a lot of orange in this. And everybody who watches me regularly is going, you don't do orange. You hate orange. Yes. Yes, I do. I don't know. This shade and this beautiful design on it in these beautiful birds that are um, all different colors and the roller skates. I don't know. They had it on display and I was like, I want that. And my sales associate even looked at me and went, it's orange. And I went, I know, I know. So he showed me all the different colorways that came in this scarf, but I couldn't get past the orange. So it's called um, Tied Up in Knots. It's uh, apricot and turquoise. So I think the fact that it's more of an apricot than a true orange probably helped. But with these beautiful birds that are tied up in knots, clearly, 
I don't know. I just, I, I loved it. I don't know <laughs> what is happening to me. I so rarely look at anything orange and go, oh, it's beautiful. But with this, yes, I don't know. I loved it. I just couldn't put it down. So if I can't put it down, then I need to take it with me, clearly. So I think it's a 90 scarf, um, 90 centimeters by 90 centimeters, 70 centimeters by 70 centimeters. Does it tell me? Let's have a look. Um, 70. It's a 70. So this is a 70 centimeter scarf. So yes, very pretty. Don't know where I'm wearing it. Don't know what I'm going to put it on. No idea. But it's beautiful. <laughs> so that's the second one that I bought. Uh, I also have something in this box. So let's open that up. And I love Hermes silks. I think they make beautiful, beautiful silks. I have so many Hermes scarves. Lots of you say to me, will you show us your scarf collection? And I would love to. I just haven't worked out how to do that, which isn't going to take four hours. So yeah, let me continue to work on that problem. Maybe for collectionists this year. If I do collectionists this year, we'll see. Um, all right. This one has a story to it. So it's another scarf. <laughs> And this one is a 90. So this has a couple of stories for me. So it goes this way. Uh, so it's a 90 scarf. It's in this blue and white pattern. And it's got um, uh, it's uh, all the star signs, I think. I think that's what they're going for. What's it called? Astrology. Yes. So <laughs> these are all the uh, astrology signs you see on it and it's got this blue big sun in the middle so I don't know how well this is coming up on screen it's very hard um, but it's stunning so a couple of things about this scarf um, I don't know if anyone else I'm I'm 42 anyone else in high school um, remembers the blue and um, gold pattern that was all stars and suns and moons on it I loved that in high school and once you tell people you love a certain thing, they'll collect it for you. So I had everything in blue and gold and star suns and moons, everything. You name it, I had it. The bedspread, I had the pillows, I had um, plates, I, you, I, I had it all. I had it all Like, because my family went, oh great, she loves that, I'll buy everything, which I appreciate. That was fantastic because I did love it. But then by the time you have it all and you go, well, maybe I don't want this anymore, it's, it's a hard slog to replace everything. Um, but this reminds me of that because this sun in the middle is absolutely that pattern and it's the same blue. Second reason I love this, this is actually Jackie O's favorite scarf. So my sales associate was telling me. So Jackie Onassis, tell, uh, this was the scarf that she wore all the time and her favorite Hermes scarf. So I found that really interesting. I thought it was cool that they're still producing it and that it has that fantastic story to, to it. And it's also got this real retro feel to it for me. And some, it ties me to my childhood. So I couldn't possibly leave it after I had all of those connections, but it's beautiful and I love it. It kind of reminds me of Greece, which is probably why Jassy, Jackie, o, um, Jackie O loved it because um, after she was married to JFK, she married into the Onassis family who are a shipping family and fairly certain they're Greek um, or certainly Mediterranean at the very least. Um, next one. <laughs> Look at me going with history that I might be sketchy on, but correct me in the comments down below if I'm wrong. Um, I know it's je definitely Jackie Onassis and it is the Onassis family and they are a shipping family. So that's where they got their fortune from. All right, next box. And yes, it's another scarf. <laughs> I was having a big silk day. All right, this is also very pretty. So, it's a horse because it's a mez. Uh, and this is actually, um, so it's beautiful on this side, which is that, but you could actually spin it around and have it on this side as well, where the horse is a whole different color and it's all tone on tone. So you can go either way. You can have it on this side or you can spin it and have it in the um, much more vibrant pattern. I loved this bit. I just loved all this scale work. It's just stunning. I thought it was beautiful. It's a real salmon-y color with this um, greeny blue. It's just gorgeous. And yes, loved this. So this is 
uh, double face scarf because that means you can wear it on both sides. Uh, and Cheval Serene. Oh, that Meredith bad French bad. Um, and this is also a 90 scarf. So yes, I love it. Is it a 90 scarf? Yeah, it's a 90 scarf. Um, so yes, <laughs> they're the silks that I bought on the day. More to add to my ever-growing collection. I just love them. I use them a lot as art. I try desperately to wear them and I need to try harder to wear more of them more often, but I just think they're beautiful. Hermes does stunning, stunning silks. This one. This one, my sales associate put aside for me and was so excited about. He's like, I've got something for you. I've snabbled it as they, un, um, as they undid all the boxes. I saw it and I grabbed it for you. It's quite rare. I was like, oh, cool, excellent. Can't wait to see it. So let's open it up. <laughs> and we have in here. So this is the Buddy Charm. So Buddy was released, I want to say last year or the year before. And Buddy's a little dog. But this is Punk Buddy. <laughs> Seriously, that's what they call him. Punk Buddy. <laughs> So, he's black on black, clearly, and he's got the little silver details in the collar and the belt, which make him a punk. And I could not not take him. I mean, I've got a buddy already. I've got a, a buddy, a white buddy that wears a blue suit. Um, but the fact that he is punk buddy and he's got these cool details and he's from Hermes, like... How can you not? <laughs> the fact that Hermes are doing Punk Buddy is just blows my mind. <laughs> um, but he is so much fun and so cute. And apparently Punk Buddy is very hard to come by. So if you see Punk Buddy in store or if you get offered Punk Buddy and you like him, then um, definitely jump on it because then there aren't a lot around. But he's just so cute. Look at that little face. Can you see his little face? He's got a little eye. There it is. And he's got a little muzzle. He's so cute. <laughs> so, <laughs> punk buddy. There you go. Go Hermes with the cool references. So, punk buddy can make friends with blue buddy, which is what I'm calling him now. And the two of them can be very happy together. So, I kind of see punk buddy on my Birkin 35 more than anything. I think that he will go nicely on my black Birkin 35. But super excited to have punk buddy uh yeah so and if anyone's interested there's the code for punk buddy so yes that's my next one all right last one so i also picked up a piece of ready to wear while i was there so sometimes when you buy ready to wear from hermes they'll give you a garment bag sometimes they don't i think it depends heavily on what the item is um so their garment bags are really substantial like they're heavy super heavy cotton um they're branded with the hermes on them just there and they've got the four um press studs so you can carry it together and the handles as well but super heavy cotton so they do really well with their garment bags um, so this item is actually from the men's collection, but I bought it for me. So I was looking around at the ready to wear. The women's stuff was very loud this season or very beige. There wasn't any in between. It was loud or beige. Um, but when we went to the men's section, I was like, oh my goodness, that is absolutely perfect. So let's get it out. They also give you the coat hanger. So this is a men's chambray shirt and it has a hood on it and it's very very simple the pocket is off center so it does not sit straight it is supposed to be off center it has the white ties on it and it's got the big white buttons it is a chambray shirt it is not particularly heavy um, it is cotton but I see this with black leggings, um, a white shirt underneath and riding boots. So this is very 90s to me. And we can see on a lot of the runways at the moment, the 90s fashion is back, which suits me because I did it the first time. I'm pretty aware of how it can be styled the second time, which is handy. 
um, but I thought this would be such an easy to style shirt with a pair of leggings and a white shirt and you can throw on joggers with it, you can throw on riding boots if you want to dress it up a little bit. Um, hell, you could even put it with a pair of heels if you really wanted to and just play with it. It's a really simple thing to style. It is from the men's collection, but who cares? Um, and it did come in a darker color as well, but I wanted the lighter one. Um, and they had lots available. So if you're after a really easy piece from Hermes, check out the men's range. Sometimes they have fantastic stuff that the women don't get that's really simple, really classic, and will be easy to style. So I love this. I will insert some mod shots of me wearing it so you can see what it looks like in case you're interested in it. Um, I got it in a size, what size did I? get I have no idea what size is this where is the size um, it's hundred percent cotton in case anyone is interested the size is not there <laughs> where do they put the size oh there it is <laughs> idiot Meredith. Um, size 41 so I got it in a size 41 which I think's like, I don't know, a large or something. I, they definitely had smaller sizes but I wanted it oversized so I went with a slightly bigger sizing for that reason because I knew I'd probably wear it open or I want it to be quite baggy but they definitely have it in smaller sizes so if you're quite petite they definitely do smaller sizes um, and this is in the Indigo Claire so that's the name of the shade of blue that it is this is Indigo Claire and they definitely do a darker denim if you're interested in that so if ready to wear is something that you're looking at at Hermes and you find the women's section really like hard to navigate sometimes and I certainly do I get very overwhelmed with this stuff because it can be very in your face or so quiet luxury that you're like why am I spending so much money on this so sometimes the men's range is really handy to have a look at so check that out as well so that's my unboxing today. They're my new seven pieces from Hermes. I have a couple of other Hermes unboxings coming up. I've got a bag to unbox for you guys. Um, and Mother's Day is coming. There might, there might be stuff coming from Mother's Day. By the time this goes up, Mother's Day will have already happened. So we'll see what I get for Mother's Day this year. Um, and so, yeah, that's my unboxing. <laughs> If you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded videos, which is usually three times a week. I'll also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can come follow me over there. I put lots up in real time and lots around my collection and I'm about to, uh, to kick off TikTok which I can't believe. I'm going to do a lot of makeup content around there. Um, so if you're interested in luxury makeup or just makeup in general um, from someone who has no idea what they're doing, come follow me over on TikTok as well. That's about to kick off. Um, I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.